Hey guys, Ernie here, Paleo Hiker MD, and we're gonna do another gear review today. If you're looking for a low cost, very versatile cook set, maybe an intro cook set, in this case a cook set that I purchased for each of my kids because I wanted them to have something they could use that was versatile, but I didn't want to buy them anything that was very flimsy or anything that was very expensive to see if they A, liked getting outdoors, and B, I wanted to make sure it was something they couldn't destroy very easily. So today we're gonna to take a look at the um, canteen cup and lid from uh, the Pathfinder School, Dave Canterbury's, um, it's uh, Self-Reliance Outfitters. So we're gonna take a look at that today on today's gear review, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I got a couple of things uh, from the website. I'm gonna show y'all what we got. These are the components. And afterwards, we'll weigh it just for you guys, although weight wasn't a major um, concern. So a couple of things. First of all is the actual canteen cup with lid. Uh, it's a, obviously a standard canteen cup. It's made out of stainless steel, very heavy duty. You just flip the back like this. It's got a little tab where you lock it in place and you can use it like that. And it has a very handy lid. The lid itself uh, doesn't snap on. They sell one that snaps on, so this will come off. It has a little D-ring on the top to grab it with and it has some three holes on the top if you can see it to drain water if you're wanting to drain some water off of something like that. Very convenient. Um, the canteen cup itself weighs 10 and a half ounces or 298 grams. Again, stainless steel. Not looking for ultralight here. Now, when I purchased this, I also purchased, I think they call it the uh, lightweight canteen pouch. And the amazing thing about this is that it's nothing to write home about per se, but this was $3, okay? It's $3. It has a pouch on each side that you can store stuff in. You can see on this side, I have uh, an Altoids 10 uh, fire kit that one of my kids has. It has some cinches on the side, so you can cinch it. Um, you can also use those cinches to attach it to another piece of gear. It also comes with uh, traditional, sorry, molly webbing on the back and straps to attach it to any kind of a molly pack. So uh, it has a drain hole at the bottom so you can drain water from it. So pretty much um, really, really nice for $3. And I purchased for the kids in this case, I bought them each a Nalgene Canteen. I thought these would be best for them. Uh, they're lightweight and I was trying to make it as light a weight for them as I could. And if I add a stainless steel canteen, it would add extra weight. So I thought this was a really good compromise for them. It's indestructible, really easy to use. So let me put it back together here and we'll weigh it and I'll tell you guys my final thoughts on it. All right guys, so there it is all back. So we're gonna weigh it. Again, this is the canteen cup, the lid, the actual bag and the um, Nalgene canteen. I did take out the fire kit. We're looking at one pound, three ounces or 540 grams. So, what are the positives of this? Well, the bag is $3, the canteen cup and lid is $16.99, the Nalgene bottle is $7. So quick math, $27, and you've got yourself a very formidable, formidable um, starter um, cook kit. Now, the one thing I do like about this as well is it's kind of upgradable. Uh, the canteen kit, um, cup and lid are great, but you can also purchase from them a um, nesting stove that goes underneath and then you can flip it out. Underneath that stove you can either start a fire with small twigs or you can put an alcohol stove which I think is great. I saw that on Dave's channel, High Carbon Steel Love, so check out him if you haven't seen him. He uses uh, those uh, canteen stoves and I'm wanting to get one. Unfortunately when I bought these I didn't buy the stove and uh, they no longer, at this point at least, offer the stove to purchase separately. So I'm gonna wait till they do that. You can also upgrade the canteen itself, obviously, to a stainless steel canteen. What that allows you to do is utilize that to uh, put over an open fire. 
Um, obviously, you can't do that with a Nalgene. Um, I know that uh, Les Stroud has done it on Survivor Man, but that is a uh, emergency situation. You don't want to do that under normal circumstances. So this kit is easy. It's relatively lightweight, weighing in at basically one pound. For kids, I think they can tolerate that if you're going out for the day. My kids love going out. We can start a fire. These canteen uh, stoves work great over an open fire. Put it right on the coals because it's stainless steel. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this gear review. Um, this is a great intro uh, or beginner, uh, inexpensive uh, cook kit uh, from Dave Canterbury's um, Self-Reliance Outfitters store. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks uh, for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, give me the thumbs up down there because it always helps. And stay tuned for more gear reviews here on Paleo Hiker MD. Thanks.